This is the Cordova Outdoors Base Camp Cooler in their National Parks Collection. Specifically, this one is in Snowcap Yellowstone, and it might be one of the best looking coolers on the market. Oh, and uh, I'll tell you a little secret. It's also a really good cooler. First things first, let's talk about this thing's design. This thing is a conversation starter and truly stands out compared to a lot of the monocolor coolers you see on the market. This thing looks amazing. It's fully wrapped in the Yellowstone graphics, showing off some of the amazing locations that can be found in the park. On the left, you have Old Faithful. On the right, we have the lower falls of the Yellowstone River. And in the middle, we have the Grand Prismic Springs. And they even have a bison. And if you've been to Yellowstone, you know that is a staple of the park. They really did a great job incorporating all these iconic locations. Now, I went with the Yellowstone version from their National Parks collection, largely being because Yellowstone is my favorite national park. I was there a little over a year ago with my family and that place is absolutely incredible. If you haven't been, definitely check it out. But if Yellowstone isn't your thing, they do still have three other national parks designed and I do highly encourage them to make more in the future. Although this thing looks absolutely amazing, as an avid outdoorsman, I need this thing to work. So I have come up with a number of tests to test this thing's performance. The overlanding test is comprised of two components. One, ice retention, and two, vehicle stability. What I mean by vehicle stability is, when I put this cooler in the bed of my truck, is it gonna stay there? Or is it gonna slide all over the place and potentially damage my equipment? So the cooler is roughly three quarters full. So I'll be coming back every day at noon just to check to see how much liquid water is formed and at what point there is no longer any ice. So as far as the overlanding test goes, this thing performed amazingly well. For one, it didn't move anywhere. And for two, it held ice for seven days. It still has ice in there. I just decided to call it there because seven days is more than enough. Now, this next test is what I call the spill test. The idea is if this thing's in the bed of your truck, in the back of your van or wherever, you take a sharp turn and it rolls onto its side, how much water is gonna leak all over the place. Now, I don't expect it to be fully waterproof, but I would like to see some resistance to draining. Okay, so you can definitely see it is draining. It's a little faster than I'd like. So as we saw, there was definitely some water coming out of here. Now that was to be expected. I don't expect these things to be watertight, but it would have been nice to see a little less water come out of there. So that's maybe something that they could work on in future iterations. So next we have the drain test. Currently the cooler is one third of the way full. So for a full top to bottom emptying, it's gonna be about three times this time, but I just wanna see how long is it gonna to take to be fully empty. So it took right in and around about three minutes to get about a quarter of the way empty. Now, if this thing was fully full, you'd have more water pressure. So I would say it's probably gonna take around seven-ish, maybe eight minutes to fully drain, which is a little slower than I'd like. Now, one thing you could do is you could fully take this drain plug out. Now, this drain plug is designed with holes in the side, which helps it drain, so that way you can actually leave it in there. Because if you take this out, you definitely run the risk of it getting lost because beyond that, it's not actually retained. So two things they could do. One, they could make this hole a little bigger. They could also make the holes in the side of this thing a little bigger. Or they could find a way of attaching this to some sort of string so you can fully pull it out of here and let the whole thing drain that way. When it comes to testing, this thing did excellent. Now, I would like to see it drain a little quicker and I would like to see this top be a little bit more waterproof, but overall, those are minor gripes in comparison to how well this thing held ice. There are a number of features this cooler has that I really like. Firstly, the handles are absolutely amazing. I did not realize how awful those rope handles on other coolers were until I got my hands on these things. I feel like I have total control over this cooler. I can lift it in any direction, tilt it any which way that I need. Having full control over the cooler honestly makes it feel lighter. Like there's no way you could even do this with any other cooler. It's honestly a game changer and all other cooler companies seriously need to adopt this. This handle also comes in super handy if you're in need of an ice cold cream soda.
I also love the fact that this cooler is made in America. It means it is built to last. And I love to support local businesses, especially when they make high quality products. Another feature I do really like about this cooler is the fact that the latches actually latch on the top. This means that when it's in the bed of your truck and you have something next beside it, you don't need to be digging down between the two to try to unhook it. All you do is just pull down from the top and you can still easily get into your cooler whenever you need to. Another thing I really like about this cooler is I like their lid lock system. What this means is when you open the lid, there's actually some resistance up here and it actually keeps it from closing on its own. That way, if you're reaching in here, you're not having to worry about this and come slamming down on you. All right, so now let's talk about what I like and what I don't like. Let's first start with the good. Now, I really like how well this thing performed. It held ice for like a full week and is still holding ice. That's fantastic. That means I will not be having to replace ice very often. I love how it looks. This thing looks amazing and really stands out from the other coolers that I'm used to seeing. I really like these handles. These things are so much better than the rope handles. Like you don't have any clue until you get a handle on these things. I feel like I actually have full control over this cooler. I like the top mounted latches. This means that I can easily get into this thing while it's in the bed and we got stuff beside it. Now, as far as things I'm not a huge fan of, one, I wish this thing was a little bit more watertight. That way, if it does fall onto its side it doesn't you know spill everywhere and i'd like for when you open up the drain plug for it to drain a little faster those are two points that i could see that the cordova could maybe improve upon but honestly overall those are pretty minor gripes to how fantastic of a cooler this is so overall i am very impressed and can highly recommend